Hi again, I'm Pierre. Welcome to the garage. This uh, episode, I just uh, you know got the uh, blue uh, blue surface uh, shim stock for the uh, replacement bands on the uh, surface grinder. I hope I have time to do that before uh, before vacation to California. Uh, because this is coming in about a week. No, I'm anxious to meet all uh, all of the people that can be there, like uh, viewers and creators. That'd be, a, I think, a super nice day. Uh, still looking for uh, inserts to put on this, uh, you know, surfacing tool for a milling machine. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know, it seems to be pretty rare because... Uh, those inserts, which I'll show you a, a close-up, they're the uh, 14 millimeters uh, ones, like the four, uh, yeah, the 14 millimeters, the 0.551 uh, uh, inch, and they're much more, uh, you know, hard to find than the uh, 12 millimeters or the 13 millimeters. I mean, uh, at a decent price, I mean, I can pay like twenty dollars, twenty dollars a crack, but uh, I find that's abusive for this. Mostly, I'm not uh, earning a living anymore with uh, machining too much. I'm doing, you know, sometimes a few jobs, but I'm not, uh, you know, intensely into it uh, anymore. Uh, for replacement, I put my hands on the, a nice seven, uh, seven inserts uh, surface milling tool there. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. I also found some uh, pretty decently priced uh, inserts for this. This is what we're going to see in the first part of this video, right after this. Also, I've been working on the, an aluminum structure, and I'm showing a few of the, uh, few of the tricks and a few of the uh, methods I use to do the assembly and the uh, hole making and the milling of a few parts. So that's a little bit further up in the, uh, in the video. Uh, it's going to be about it, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, Thank you for, you know, people that subscribe, to people that uh, do thumbs up, even though the one that thumbs down. I mean, I miss them sometimes when they're not there. I don't know what they... Lately, I don't know. They just uh, they, they take a long time. Where the hell do they go? But who cares? Uh, comments. It's fun. Uh, just uh, thanks again, and hope you enjoy. Hey, this is the tool. <coughs> Seven inserts. Uh, it's got about uh well it's got about it's a four inch four inch wide uh cutter which is hundred millimeters you see the uh millimeter in scale the uh top of this is the um b t forty the the spindle of the um Milling machine here can accept the BD40 and the uh, NT42, like uh, those ones with the uh, this thing here. I modified the length of the uh, screw a little bit to fit both of them, and uh, very practical. These are a little bit more rare sometimes. These, like uh, any uh, CNC shops, got them. Also, naturally, when you buy this, you don't always get the inserts with them. But this one, I didn't get the inserts with them, but. Uh, these uh, are 390 uh, I got a couple of boxes on eBay. But these inserts I uh, got a positive, uh, positive, positive break on this. They have two, uh, two usable, uh, two usable ends. This end and this end. Uh, you can see close enough. First time they've been used this morning, just with the, what I showed you. This here, this end was first to use. Not not too much abuse though, and the other end, like, just flip them around. I'm just making ready here to give a try to my new uh, surface mill cutter. It's a four inch, seven inserts. That's how it does. Not sure, I think I'm taking about uh, 25 to uh, 
25 to 40,000, I'm not sure. But cut. Not bad at all. <laughs> so far seems to be cutting like butter. I'm running it at 700 RPMs. Chips are, uh, if you can see them, nice blue little chips. There you go, the most of the little frizzies that you get uh, from this uh, this cut, these ones, these ones, you know, the uh, these ones, these ones, these ones here. It's about uh, what we get from the uh, this this tooling. It's not, you know, it's not a big cut, so I uh, getting out there uh, kind of bluish, purplish, not bad. Yeah, a few other things I have to do. Cut uh, quarter of an inch uh, thick aluminum channel and three pieces, three inch long pieces. Uh, I could have used a gauge, but uh, you know, a bump bar. But anyway, could have used a uh, guide. Uh, Whatever. Gonna be noisy. Ain't that noisy? Check the cut on this though. Yeah, we'll focus. Nice clean cut. Okay, sometimes uh, you work on the milling machine, you gotta make something, uh, you know, precise enough on the height. And, uh, you know, tools don't get in easily or just anything like that. So I got a set of uh, drill blocks here. I cleaned up the uh, reference on the uh, on the vise though. I'm going to be uh, using my um, my edge of a cutter as a reference for uh, being close enough. If I get like uh, paper close, I'll be about within maybe two to three thousandths. I'm getting there. I don't want to mar my Joe blocks. I'm going to set zero on my axis there get this down and remove this go on zero on my uh, DRO get uh, two to three thousands and I'll be like within a thousand uh, should be like very close so with this saves me some uh, you know trying to get the uh, measuring tool around there or uh, anything just in a way so that's easier like I say, Joe blocks or anything, you know the measure, so. And now just, uh, let's do the cut. A little bit of a schmoo. I'm just going to go easy enough. And I'm not worried about the measurement. It's going to be close enough. There you go. I was aiming for 2.375. Okay, so I'm a little bit of hand holding now. Uh, <clears throat> I need to uh, make some, you know, angles there. That will bolt all together like this here. Go through one and a half inch there. And probably can see it. It's 
a boat going down there. There, right there, this boat. And when you make the holes from top to bottom, uh, you really want to make some holes that are uh, kind of in line and straight, 90 degrees uh, in all directions. So I made myself a little fixture to uh, do this. Uh, let's put that down. So I got one regular angle. I only got one screw in this one. But the other one, uh, I made myself uh, with the same angle, piece of aluminum. The uh, little spacer in the back to line up the holes. And I uh, scratch my line. That's bad. Scratch my line right there. And lining up good. Use a C clamp. And you see the rest uh, back on the stand. Okay. <clears throat> lining this up with the previous line. A little bit of a WD back in the hole. This hole second part. And that makes a pretty straight hole. You know, I think the hole is pretty straight. This was kind of easy to make. I used one of the angles. Made this part to uh, guide the drill bit. The right spacing in the holes. And I just kind of made this spacer to uh, keep it the right distance. So the hole would match. Hold this with a C-clamp. And when it's lined up with the drill bit or a gauge pin or whatever, it performs flawlessly. <laughs>